If we do not have a robust machine that is willing to go after our low propensity voters, do ballot chasing, secure our elections, and pour hundreds of millions of dollars in Arizona, Georgia, and Wisconsin, it does not matter if we run the best candidate ever and they try to run Jimmy Carter from hospice because they're going to have full-time grassroots workers chasing the ballots, doing the mule activity. What we need to start to realize is that if we want to win in 2024, we have to start to play the game the Democrats have been beating us at. The Democrats are in trouble if Republicans begin to run ground games, going after what would be Republican voters, meaning their base that don't participate. And the reason Democrats are in trouble is because they don't do a good job at that. I want you to take everything that you have learned and share that. I want you to shine a light across this nation. America is the greatest country because of the men and women who have sacrificed and given their all for her. So how do Democrats think they can win these races in 2024? What's the strategy? Hey, Chris, well, this is quite an ambitious target list by the Democrats. Their strategy, quite simply, is to portray Democratic candidates in the next House election as team normal and to portray Republican candidates as MAGA extremists. Democrats, that are candidates, that are auxiliaries, are horrible at reaching their base because they spend so many resources running ads. They've been winning specifically because Republicans have not been doing base work. If Republicans do what Charlie Kirk is suggesting in Georgia, Wisconsin, they're in trouble. They've been the Democrats because there is a significant portion of the Democratic base, specifically black men, that are not participating in elections because Democrats aren't speaking to their needs. You have a lot of black people that feel like we sacrificed a lot to make sure this administration came in and we haven't collectively re reap the benefits. The Pittsburgh activist says Biden has failed to deliver on his promises. There has been a direct attack on our voting rights. That hasn't been addressed, right? We, we did all of this organizing around police reform, but like the opposite has happened. It's almost like we're last on the agenda. Right? A year ago, exit polls showed Biden's approval rating among black voters at 87%. Now, it's 63%. We cannot pretend that video by Charlie Kirk is not scary. If you do work on the left, if you consider yourself a progressive, then you know the lack of activity that is not transactional from the Democratic Party has been put on notice. What would you say to President Biden if you could speak with him? I would say, Mr. President, we delivered for you. It's time for you to deliver, to deliver for us. And the sad part about it is, it will not matter who the candidate is because Democrats show up in a way that is transactional and not transformative. And that will cost us the elections. I'm Mundell Robinson. You've heard the truth. Peace.